Hey there, Doughboy here. Went to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo yesterday, and uh, it was the first time I'd ever gone to an expo of any sort at all. And it was pretty cool. Uh, there was a ton of stuff there. Uh, like, it, it's hard to walk around the place and not see something that you would want to get. I seen a lot of cool people there. I seen uh, as soon as I walked in, I seen Alpha Omega Sin. He, he was uh, standing right next to Rob Man. Went over and talked to two of them for a little bit. Uh, walked around the place for a while. Seen Pete Door. Uh, seen Pat the NES Punk. I uh, seen Johnny Millennium right before he went and did his uh, panel. I seen I uh, met Wood from beat em ups uh, from Australia and uh, right before I left I seen uh, Metal Jesus Rocks he was going into the auction um, I went and seen Alpha Omega Sin, Johnny Millennium and Rab Man's panel and it was pretty funny got to see Rab Man do a few impressions got to see him talk about some uh, D and D stories again. I always like those. Those are pretty funny. Um, seen some pretty cool artwork. There was like this three D thing going on. Uh, I'll show some video of it. And uh, there was also some uh, placard things that were made from recycled wood of all gamer stuff. It was some pretty cool stuff. And. Uh, Anyway, if you haven't gone there, you totally should, because it's an awesome place, and I definitely want to come back and go next year. Anyway, here's what I got at the uh, Gaming Expo. I picked up a uh, PlayStation 2 inbox for 15 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, and... It didn't have a power cord with it, but it's a cheap cord, and the PS2 and the PS3 use the same cord. I'm not sure if the PS1 does too, uh, but since it didn't have a power cord, he threw in an extra controller, and uh, I also got a PS2 memory card from him for a buck. And then I went and found Xenosaga Episode 1 and Xenosaga Episode 2. This was $8 and this was $12. So I got the two of them for 20 which is a pretty good deal. The third one's really hard to find and it's pretty expensive. Anyway, if you haven't gone to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, I definitely recommend going there if you're a collector or a fan of video games or you're even in the area and love games because uh, the place is awesome and you can find all kinds of cool stuff there and meet all kinds of cool people. Um, anyway, peace out. Here I am at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, it's pretty crazy here. 